welcome ladies and gentlemen to another steel division game so first of all we're gonna be looking at my one of my 1v1s from the other day um i'm playing 17th ss i'm playing against solo wing pixie here he's playing monte or both playing maverick i'm on the left and i'm on the right and a lot of people have been asking about some like actual gameplay strats um so i'm just gonna because like honestly when i'm watching other people it's sometimes difficult to know what uh the people are thinking and doing and so um, I can give you my thoughts, obviously, what my strategy. I can't speak for Pixie, but I can speak for me. So I'm on the left here. Um, I'm playing 17th SS, so the biggest advantage of 17th SS, and you got to be aware of your pros and cons. You got these beautiful tractions here. The tractions go 115 kilometers on the road. One of the fastest vehicles in the game. I have six uh, double vetted MG42s, so two cards of them in A. Um, I bring some flamethrowers. You also can come in tractions. And then, all right. So these are the key points that I'm going to be defending. And I go in for so right here right off the bat you can put a pack on around this road and it kind of locks down this entire location for many armor i'm putting a pack 40 going there um so really really key to put that i'm putting a pack 40 up here it just covers this entire area the mg42 i'm also rushing flamethrowers and mg42 in these buildings and same similar in these locations because if you get 42s in these buildings especially these ones you can lock down the forest line for many at guns and it's pretty tough to get rid of mg42 to be honest especially double bedded one you have seen you see no tanks just armor cars moving down the roads i'm bringing tons of close quarter infantry over here to just like absolutely get in their face and that should be the objective so you know i'm going to be wanting to push in areas like you want to push where the pros are so i get tons of ss legionary who have molotovs plenty of pioneers i want to get in this area i can grab two flags here so that's two flags i can definitely def uh, grab and also defending and three flags on the front line I'm also going for these three flags in the open. I have Stugs, and I he doesn't really have the, too many tanks. And I have pretty good cover up here of these AT guns, and I could put MG42s up here, so it's pretty dominated. I'm also playing a little more defensive over here, playing some more infantry over here. Not because I really want to push for this flag over here, which is a good flag to grab, and I'll try to get it. But it also just protects these three flags, which can definitely be taken pretty easily by the other player. I'm rushing an MG42. Um, into this building otherwise i normally put a squad in these buildings and turn their guns and return fire because you, that keeps the flag in your control um that's pretty key similar to this flag too if you're not going to have mg42s in it to actually fight up here you need to put like a squad just in you know in the building here and turn their guns fire off well or you're gonna get messed up um put an mg42 up here there's plenty of good spots anyway let's also there's a little spot that right here i don't know if you guys know but right here, if you put an AT gun, you can see down this road. A tank too, you put a tank here, shoot down that road. Pretty broken. <laughs> and if you get suppressed or anything, you just immediately push retreat and there's no line of sight. So that's a really good spot to grab as well. All these little nooks and crannies that you need to be aware of. Hey, let's uh, let's start this thing. Pretty uh, yeah, standard opener. I'm seeing armored cars coming down there with my infantry. These things are amazing. Heat round, if it, you know. 100 penetration in the heat round, you have an AP round, and they also have tons of HE, which they just destroy. So you see how quicker, like I'm just in the front line way faster than he can ever be. I have three flamethrowers going up here, getting in this forest, which I want. I have uh, three, you know, some flamethrowers going in here with an MG42. I'm about to lose a huge MG42 here, which kind of sucks. I don't, it turns and rotates out like this, and it's not unloading for some reason. See how it's spinning in circles? It's like derped out. And look, it dies to a sniper. Two man squad sniper. But oh, I got an MG42 in this building. Fortunately, I get sniped pretty heavily. I got an MG42 up here on this rail looking down the road. Pretty much depressing his stuff. He's being caught out in a bad spot now. Flamethrowers, SVWs. He's got no bazookas, so he's just going to get mowed down. This location, he's just done zone. He's already down other, you know. I'm about to go down two flags in this location. He's down all three of these major flags in this location, and I'm not down anywhere at the moment. And he's he's in the he's got a lot of forces up here. That's why I sent things in here because usually players push for these three flags. It's just an easy three flags to push, and by pushing in this location, it relieves the threat of these three flags in the open being taken. Um, but he can't move across anywhere because of the pack 40 up here. I'm seeing a reinforcement of infantry. These guys are just stuck now. Yeah, nothing they can do now. This is kind of what I want. I wanted to fight in these CQC areas in the forest. 
Um, he has so much snipers. Like, just look how many snipers are on the map. He's also got this beautiful sniper squad that has a bazooka <laughs> as well. There wasn't OP enough. We've seen that SS Legionnaire come in. They throw the Molotovs. They throw their Molotovs faster than, the, than these guys can throw their guys. Molotov makes the moves. They can't throw their satchel. Unfortunately, this guy threw it at this squad. And now he's about to get satcheled. I'm trying to back him off the line right now. I'm trying to get him out of the way. See, so yeah, I take less damage. You can dodge shots by doing that. And now my Pioneer squad is going to be moving up. And I should be loading my Pioneer shot. He's just still reloading. Bam. Shot goes off. Boom. Gets that suppression. He's down the squad. His satchel didn't do anything there. Up here, it's just a whole disaster for him as well. I tried moving down the road, thinking there was nothing here. Parent track gets me. Really smart play by Solar Wing Pixie, though. But, like, this is what I want. I want to, like, dominate. I'm sending off these all these two, three, threes to push out in the open. There's no AT guns here. Really good opportunity for me to move up. This is the only location I kind of feel any threat from. And then this area, I'm, I'm going to reinforce in a second. But um, it's not a priority at the moment. And you can see that I'm just, like, kind of getting in his face everywhere. He's really thin. Like, look how much map control I have at the moment. And I'm fighting in every location he's fighting me. It's where I ideally want to fight him. And even in the open, I really have an advantage as well. He has a pack gun here, though. We're trying to finally see one. These double, these double squad snipers are freaking crazy. I'm trying to shoot this AT gun. I don't know how that does not kill it. Bam, we kill the sniper squad with a... Uh, the little SPW. Doesn't get the kill, that's crazy. You're gonna see now a whole wave of you know infantry coming in here in a second. This location not going so well. I have an MG42 in this building. Kinda locks down any real movement. I've seen the first bomber come out. Little IRA, whatever you want to call it. IAR 81 with little two fifty kilogram bombs. They suppress, but they don't really kill much. He's more dense though in the locations he's fighting. I also got guys behind my lines here. I'm trying to move this M42 and just click to move it up the front line. You see this IRR, you know, just going around crazy. You can see that I, I was the one attacking there. I've lost a lot of forces. I'm not going to keep attacking now. I'm going to start digging in the key positions. I don't need to move anymore forward. He does lose this. AT gun here. This panda gun is going to fight this. Can't really move out in the open though with all those panda tracks. Sorry, not panda track, armor cars I have. This panda track can't get close enough. This location though, he does grab this flag, which is almost taking away my double tick. Look at that double squad of snipers, so crazy. He'll be trying to reinforce key positions. Yeah, but he has no opportunity really to grab in that area. I draw. I know there's a panda track somewhere in here. I unloaded this guy to clear it out. I don't want a panda track getting in the rear line like right here, but popping any of my armor cars or tanks. You can really see this game. There's been no tanks really been brought out by any players. Then armor car spam. This is kind of like the the gameplay turns into when you have both like multiple fronts. Like there's plenty of room to push in center, and then there's plenty of like fighting going on on the flanks. Just deriving it all into infantry camp combat because you know like one a good AT gun can just pretty much wipe out two tanks since they're not really that cost efficient but like for me that's why I ban this map <laughs> in the tournaments I always ban this map because people really like it and I like the one lane area just having one fight instead of having to fight between two areas I think as my micro has gotten better though I've ideally liked this gameplay more but it is micro intensive like you're looking between a lot of areas back and forth really quickly and giving a lot of different orders Panda track gets killed. Pixie keeping down, not getting the double tick down yet. He still has it. But also not really trading that effectively as well. This double vetted sniper though, my god. I'm not double vetted, the double two team guys. Seeing uh, a B2 come in here. Going for the SPW. 110 points, going for 35 points. I'm not sure it's a really good idea. You're going to see me immediately call out a fighter here. I was kind of waiting for this. This is an easy kill by me. He's going to kill that two SVW, but that does no pressure on the map. I'm going to get an easy kill now on him. He's trying to rotate into me, but it's far too late. It goes down to the 20 mils. Oh, this is 30 mils, sorry. 
Oh, even worse. I'm going to rotate out. I'm not willing to evacuate. When someone does this, right, they're rotating out, you got to turn around. Because you know there's a fighter coming in any second now. You see me call another fighter. Now I have two fighters. My fighters are way better than his. Like in every regard. He's going in for a bombing run really weirdly. He suppresses. Doesn't do anything. He gets shot down. Planes are both going to rotate out now into him. He's got no real opportunity here. You either need to call another fighter or get the hell out. He's not going to fight these things though. These 30 cannon, 30 millimeter cannons. I think they could just a strafe on you. You're done. A really reliable aircraft. Pulling out around. They don't have a lot of ammo though. Bam. Goes down immediately. Now he's in a bad spot. He's lost two aircraft there. He's down negatively. He's pretty bad. Pretty thin over here. We're about to enter into B phase. Where I got way more SS legionary. Which should help me clear out this location. I'm out at the moment. You see me marking on the map that AT gun I noticed. I wasn't sure what type of AT gun. But I'm trying to strafe some of this stuff. But I lost line of sight. I'm just kind of strafing the line like I pull this guy out, he's got his 30mm cannons. Man, look at these. These sniper squads are crazy. They carry radius too. And they're like 5 man squad. Probably starting to put in some infantry in this location. The far too late. Look how thin he is in the, in the center of the map. I mean, I'm pretty thin there, I guess, as well. Look how thin he is up here. Line totally breaks here. See me moving up with my armored cars. I'm bringing a leader here. It's a dense area of fighting. This is why I like to bring leaders. A lot of top players don't bring leaders, but I think it's you already have one vet on a lot of your infantry. Bringing that second vet, and maybe even getting a triple vet, the commander, really can turn the tide. Where like you're now fighting in an area that's dense, and you may be fighting one to one, and now your units are just better overall. These guys are going to go down. Gone. I'm sending out a squad out here. I'm going to unload them really quickly. Hopefully. Ooh. This is sketchy. Yeah, unload them. I got lucky there. Get a wave of infantry coming in here. It's that, you know, it's that water break phase, guys, you know, between A and B. It's always a water break phase. All the fighting starts to die down. Lines start to solidify. Just seeing a huge wave of infantry come in here, though. That was really disappointing. I'm setting this infantry squad just to turn off his weapons. Or at least I'm trying to. The sniper's coming up right now. You're just hanging out. I'm gonna go in for a strafe. I got 20 millimeter cans. I bring these to the extra fighters, really. And the strafing's pretty good. Yeah, this sniper squad's taking a pounding now by both the 233 and the pack 40. And I'm going in for a strafe. Unfortunately, to miss it. We're seeing the first tanks come out. One vet, Panch Force. I haven't brought out a tank yet. This one's so CQC orientated that tanks wouldn't be too good. I see a sniper here. I try, I push B on my keyboard and I just smoke him off. I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to keep hiding. I'm going to keep strafing these guys. Moving this infantry squad to wipe out the sniper squad. Once they hit, and bam. All these guys are going into action now. Bam. Those guys get deleted. We're seeing a wave of my infantry coming in here. I'm trying to get in this area. Just seeing some 20 point Volksdeutsch. I'm seeing a reinforcement squad here. Of a uh, SS Legionary to get in that area. Setting some reinforcements here. Keeping that double tick going. And now I can just drive through. 
I've got these two snipers here, but not doing too much. Got a panda truck there. Yeah, these SS Legion Air is gonna mess up people in here. Damn. These guys on low fighting for that flag. This clears out this area. On this front, I'm not paying attention. I'm microing elsewhere for a second. I'm microing pretty heavily on the right for right now. I'm trying to see what's going on. A lot of this action. And then I lose one of my squads to a panda truck. I quickly realize it. I unload. My guys are double vetted. These guys got caught out by two, uh, one of my SPWs. Goodbye. That's just Legionnaire just moving in. Once they connect to these guys too, the whole line will come back. Bring another leader in here. Seeing some wave in my Volkswagen SS Legionnaire there as well. You can't really move up. There's a pack 40 here. Yeah, it gets an easy penetration. More infantry kind of cross the open here. I've sent some Volkswagen to support. They kind of get cut out in the open by my mistake. Deep stuff goes down. Sorry, I'll page four goes down. Seeing some aircraft coming in. I'm trying to start strafing these snipers. These things are just annoying me. That's just legionary just moving in, just annihilating the force. But yeah, you see him now desperately pushing. There's always a desperate push towards the end of the game. Everyone just starts pushing everywhere. These crazy Molotov infantry are coming out in the open. Getting suppressed by MG42s. Not moving anywhere in the open. It's a nice kill there. I'm about to pretty much wipe out that area. I have plenty of guys in this location. You can of see he's starting to make progress on my left flank. The right flank's totally collapsing for him. And now you're going to see just waves of aircraft and infantry rolling in. He's already lost a lot of aircraft. I have plenty of fighters. I'm just going to strafe everything to death. He's going to get surrendered. And that's what you do with fighters. You have the air superiority. You have no problem. Now he's that entire assault that he was winning right here just, just disappeared. He's barely holding this area. I'm going to come in for strafes now for that town. He's lost his entire right flank. There's not much you can do. He just lost the infantry combat, combat. And there you go. He surrenders there. Seeing the writing on the wall. Trading pretty positively there. Look at the opener. Like, I'm trading super positively. Comes back a little bit, but you know, you're definitely trading not so well the whole game. And yeah, I mean, it comes up like in the kill feed. Like, he lost almost a third more. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to the Wing Pixie for playing. Um, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys want like more of this type of stuff, just let me know and I'll see you guys around.